Guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've got a watch, uh, three watches for review. The uh, This is the Dryden Chrono Diver. Um, it's called the DCD-1. And I've got them in three different uh, colorways. Um, this is a pretty cool watch. It's running a Mecha Quartz, so it's it's got that traditional uh, uh, look and style of a uh, auto chronograph, but then you've got that uh, that precision uh, with the Mecha Quartz. So it's uh, very cool, really. And just the the look, I mean, I love the look of these watches. Um, it's like a diver chronograph, and I love the broad arrow hands, kind of like the Omega um, watches. So no crown guard, so it's got a real nice vintage style to it. So let's, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just jump right into the specs of the watch. Um, these are all the same, okay, just different colorways, but uh, the size is 42 millimeters across, and then it's 49 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, and it's 13.5 millimeters thick, okay? Um, <clears throat> 120 click bezel, bezel action very good, See that? No back play. You got a tachometer um, on the inside, inner ring, all the way around. Um, very, this one's got a very beautiful blue, like sun ray dial, white uh, sub dials. Um, this one has like a vintage loom to it. Okay, so you can see the loom looks more vintage. It's um, super luminova. We're gonna do a loom shot towards the end, so we'll check that out. I'll also get it on my wrist. Um, brushed on the sides and the top. And right here you have on this bezel, or not bezel, bevel up at the top of the lugs, it's polished. So that's just beautiful. You don't see that a lot. You don't see a lot of um, beveling on the top of the lugs on watches anymore. You really don't. Tudor's been doing it, but not a lot of brands do that anymore. Rolex used to do it, of course. Uh, but here we go. Let's zero it out. And this is, the blue just looks so cool because it's, it's, um, <clears throat> oops, I went too far. It's um, like a baby blue, like a vintage type of blue, almost, I don't know. Yeah, baby blue. Let's go with that. So you see the blue. You got the, the uh, date wheel right there between the four, or but yeah, between the four and five o'clock. Um, you have your running seconds hand there. You have a 60 minute counter there and you have a 24 hour counter on this side. Let's run the chronograph. So see it, it gives it that look that it's a mechanical watch and you know what it is. I mean, it's, it's, you know, mecha quartz, so it's, I guess, half and half, uh, but it does have a battery. So you can see that running. It's pretty, uh, I mean, it's very well done. Quick release uh, uh, deployment on the strap, 22 millimeter lug opening. It's got a sapphire crystal, double domed. Very nice teeth on that bezel. Easy to grip too, very easy to grip. And the polishing, the brushwork, it's all done very well. Um, signed crown. I love that it doesn't have crown guards. It just really gives it that vintage vibe, vintage look. Not a signed buckle. The, the, the band is nice. I mean, it's, it's basic, but it is nice. It's a nice strap, genuine leather strap. The, here's the other one. This is kind of a royal blue. If you're a Dodger fan, fan this would be perfect. Um, royal blue with white dial and then blue subdials. And this has just regular loom, it looks like. Applied hour markers. This kind of ties in better with that date wheel, white date wheel. That's pretty nice. And then they have a black PVD coated model right here. All black. And it's just all brushed. And then you have the yellow accents there. Yellow hands for the subdials and then yellow tip. 
pretty nice. It is a screw down crown. See that? Hacks, obviously, it's a quartz. Um, it's also um, got applied markers. See that? You can really tell. This actually on the black one, they appear to be painted on, but I'm not sure. The hour markers I know on, on the stainless steel models, this is 316L stainless steel also, but those are applied. You see those markers are applied. I love the hands. They're definitely using the Omega like Seamaster or older Speedmaster um, broad arrow hands. So that just looks good. To me, it looks great. Even the second hand, um, the, the Chrono hand is something that Omega uses that style. I, look, I think it looks classy. It looks really good on this watch. So I don't know if they meant to do that or not, but I think it looks really good. So let me see. Screw it out. You guys can see the dial a little bit there. Dryden chronograph right there. And I don't know if I mentioned, but 200 meter, or no, is it a 200? No, 100 meter water resistance. Now these are on sale right now. They're normally, I think regularly 319, but I was just on their website and they're on sale at 269 right now. Um, I'm not sure if shipping is included with that or not, so check out their website. I'm going to have a link in the description so you guys can check them out. But uh, these are very nice. If you want a good chronograph at a good price, um, I would go for Dryden. Let's uh, hit the, let's get them loomed up here, and then I'll kill the lights. Let's see here. <clears throat> Should glow pretty, pretty good. Turn the lights out. There we go. Okay, so now here's the blue one with the you know vintage loom. So see, that's got really good loom applied evenly. So <clears throat> I think that looks great. I really, if I was to buy one, it'd be this one. This is just a really nice looking blue and white. I mean, it, it looks good. The vintage loom looks pretty cool. And now here's the, uh, now you can tell the, here's just the regular loom. Super Luminova. So the vintage loom is green, and then the regular loom is blue. So that looks pretty cool. But very nice, very legible. And then let's check out the, and this one's also blue on the PVD coated case. So let me throw it on the wrist real quick. Let's see, seven and a half inch wrist. camera there let's throw it this one on this one I really like oh yeah so you know for a 42 mil case across from side to side and the thickness is relatively thin 13.5 so that's that's very wearable and the lug distance from 49 49 mil that's good you really don't want to go over 50 50 is kind of like my max but this is this is good, looks good on me. I like it, wears very nice, very nice. So for $269 to get a chronograph this quality with a great movement, reliable movement, um, easy to service, you know, this thing's gonna last a long time. I love that vintage loom, look at that. That's a great shot, wow, that looks great. So you guys need to check out Dryden. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.